Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ollie, the SHO Ho Ho on call. As of right now, we are just two short weeks away from Christmas and Christmas is a time of giving. And I've come up with five last minute Christmas gifts that you can get the medics in your lives, be they medical students, junior doctors, even consultants, I'm sure they'll appreciate the presents. Strictly speaking, that's not actually true. It was gonna be five. Me and Aqua disagreed about what the fifth one should be, so it's actually six. But corrections aside, thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, who I will tell you more about in just a little bit. I'll actually be giving away one of everything that we talk about in this video, so keep your eyes on my socials for that in the next few days. Now gift number one today is a reusable insulated coffee mug or flask. It is a very well known fact that being a medical student or a doctor is extremely tiring. You are constantly stressed and busy and because of that virtually everyone develops a subclinical caffeine addiction before the end of their studies. Now unfortunately as you know buying coffee from coffee shops and chains is really expensive at the best of times and hospital coffee shops aren't reliably open through the night remembering that half of us will be working night shifts and that's when I would argue you really need it. And that's why number one has to be an insulated coffee mug of some kind meaning you can take a fresh hot coffee from home to work in the morning or ensuring that it stays warm when your bleep goes off 30 seconds after you finish making it at work. And many coffee chains actually offer discounts if you bring your own reusable mug rather than using their takeaway cups. And if you want to go one step further, consider pairing this with some really nice decadent instant coffee or perhaps some beans that the person can grind at home. And if you're not sure what coffee to buy, just ask the nearest anaesthetist, they will know. But now what about at the other end of the day when you come home after a busy shift and all you want to do is sleep? But you can't because there's some old guy and his reindeer pattering around on the roof. Well, unfortunately, as dart guns are actually illegal here in England and I presume the North Pole, well, perhaps the next best thing is a sleep mask to make drifting off to sleep after a shift that bit easier. Sleep is something that we all struggle to get enough of, but sometimes, especially between night shifts, for example, when you have to sleep through the day, it can feel next to impossible to get a good chunk of rest in. Well, there are lots of different types you can get. These particular ones and the ones I'm giving away come with an integrated pair of Bluetooth headphones as well that cover your ears so you can play something like white noise or the sounds of a rainstorm or a thunderstorm while you're trying to sleep which is actually something that I do when I'm struggling to nod off or perhaps just chuck on an audiobook or something and enjoy your warm bed for a bit. Gift number three today is one that will be very easy to find but will equally be very well received some nice non-rubbish pens. We are absolutely reliant on decent pens in the job, either for speed writing ward round notes for the surgeons at 90 miles an hour, or filling in the one paper form in the trust that is still inexplicably done on paper and handed in to a secretary that only works on the second Thursday of every month. My personal misgivings aside, what you essentially need is a decent reliable pen that won't smudge. So very specifically, I would recommend against something like an ink rollable or a fountain pen and much more about a ballpoint. But as I say, crucially, something that won't smudge because for things like blood bottles, prescriptions and blood transfusion request forms, if they're not legible because the ink has run or smudged or your handwriting is just really legitimately terrible, then they will not be accepted. So I guess having some decent pens solve at least half of that problem. <laughs> And now we've reached the halfway point and it's time for a word for our sponsor today, Skillshare. Now I actually joined Skillshare myself to keep my learning going in non-clinical areas because regardless of how long we've been doing something, there is always something more that we can take on board. I've been really enjoying Marcus Brownlee's class for YouTube success because I've been doing this a long time as I say but I've still got so much I can improve on. If you're interested in getting into the media space and video creation definitely give it a look. Marcus is one of the industry leaders who has defined this creative space and to have such easy access to a class from him has been a really enjoyable and simple experience. The first 1000 people who use the link in the video description below will get an entire month of Skillshare for free. So huge thanks to Skillshare once again for sponsoring this video today so be sure to go ahead and use that link and get some free learning today. Gift number four today is a decent water bottle. Just like with sleep, very few of us drink enough when we're on shift and junior doctors in particular are known to be criminally bad at this. 
we know how important oral intake is and we will constantly be reminding our patients to make sure that they're drinking enough. But we are so, so poor at keeping to it ourselves, especially if we don't have our own water bottle to hand. A few recommendations from me when thinking about a water bottle, I would say make sure that it's of a decent size so you're not having to be constantly refilling it because you won't always have the facilities to do so. And two, I actually really like bottles that have graded markings to tell you how much you need to be drinking each hour. It just serves as a continuous reminder and you can always catch up if you're behind. Because let's face it, we are all used to feeling like failures in medicine and while I'm willing to take some abuse from my registrars and consultants, I'm not willing to take it from a water bottle. So water bottle, I will meet your challenge, I will stay hydrated and my kidneys will probably thank me too. Now gift number five here is a battery bank. Let's face it, our lives are unpredictable and quite chaotic. You'll suddenly find yourself having to urgently cover an on-call, perhaps if one of your colleagues is sick or you'll be shipped off to some random ward somewhere that you've never heard of. Equally, things don't always go to plan. You might find yourself at the end of a night shift, you've not really been thinking very well for the last few hours and you suddenly realise you need to get home and your phone battery is dead. Having a portable battery bank in your bag at all times I think is an absolute necessity. Better yet, many of them, including the one I've got here, come with a complete suite of cables completely integrated seamlessly into the device, including USB Type-C and lightning connectors. So rest assured whether it's your phone that needs charging or something else like your headphones or even the device of a colleague that's running a bit low on battery themselves, you will always have the right cable for the occasion. Then our final gift idea of today is reusable cutlery. Now you might think it's a slightly weird thing to give someone as a gift, but trust me, anyone who works in healthcare, regardless of who they are, will really appreciate something like this. Not only is it a reminder for your gifty to take the time to prepare nice ready-made meals for themselves so they can make use of their brand new reusable cutlery set, but unlike the weird collection of slightly rogue cutlery in the doctor's mess, this stuff probably won't give you leprosy. Not to mention that meal prepping is much more efficient and cheaper than going to the hospital canteen every day. And there's a huge range of materials that you can pick from. These particular ones are plastic, but you can also get metal and wood options like bamboo as well. So just get something that matches the vibe of the person that you're gifting for. So that's it guys. That brings us to the end of this video. Six gift ideas for the medics in your life. What do you think? Are there any suggestions that I've missed off? Any of mine that you don't agree with and you think are a bit silly? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. As I've said, it really makes a huge difference to the channel. And keep your eye on my socials over the next few days where I'll be giving this entire collection of items away to one of you guys for free. Take care and I'll see you soon.